Ya <laughs> Greetings, my name is Ravis Henry. I'm a park ranger at Canyon Deshe National Monument and I also work with Great Sand Dunes National Park. I belong to the Towering House Clan and I'm born for the Coyote Pass Hamas Clan. I am Navajo and I originally come from a place called Alamo, New Mexico. That's where I was born and raised, but I currently reside in Canyon Biche. Today I'm going to share just a little bit with you about some of the stories that come from my people, the tribe of the Navajo, the Dene, as we call ourselves in our language. It is told by our people the Diné tribe that we migrated through four different worlds to get into the world that we currently live in. We emerged from a giant reed and through that reed we came into this glittering world as we call it. And as we arrived in this world it is told that the deities, the holy people, Di and Diné, they created four sacred mountains for us out of four different stones or shells. The first mountain they created out of white shell and they use a bolt of lightning using an arrow to shoot this white shell to the east they created the white shell mountain they created the second mountain out of turquoise with the stone of turquoise and a stone knife they created the, the turquoise mountain and placed it to the south the third mountain was created out of abalone shell with the abalone shell they used a beam of light to create another mountain and they placed this mountain in the west and they called it the Chithitzi, the Abalone Shell Mountain. For the fourth and final time they used a stone of black jet and they used a rainbow to create this mountain and they placed this mountain to the north calling it Bajzinitzi, the black jet mountain. These mountains then began to breathe and they began to speak. They began to be alive just like any other human being and other plants and living organisms. And as these mountains began to speak, they wanted to have their own name, a special name. So the White Shell Mountain was then given the name of Sisna Jin. And then the Turquoise Mountain was given the name of Tso Zif. And the Abalone Shell Mountain was given the name of Doko Osli. And for the north, the Black Jet Mountain, they gave the name of the Ben Tsar. And these four mountains, Sisna Jinne, Tsotzit, Doko Oslid, the Ben Tsar, these four mountains are the sacred mountains for the Navajo people. They were the first to be created by the deities in this glittering world, and they serve as a foundation to the homeland of the Navajo people. These mountains hold this part of the world in its place so that the land never moves. Together the mountains create a dome that protects our homeland. And within the boundaries of these four sacred mountains, we have all that we need to sustain our life. There is food, there is water, there is shelter. We can find peace and happiness. And these mountains provide a home for the many different animals, which will then be utilized as our food for our survival and for the use of different ceremonies. 
along with the many different herbs, the plants. We were told to remain within the four sacred mountains and we should never leave. And these four sacred mountains would remain as our protectors that would continue to watch over our people. As long as we speak to these mountains, we honor these mountains, we make offerings to them, we pray to them, and we sing the song of these mountains. Today, these mountains still remain. Cisnagina to the far east is Mount Blanca. Tzolotzil to the south is Mount Taylor. Toko Asli to the west is or are the San Francisco peaks. And the Bensa to the north is Mount Hesperus. These mountains today still serve as the boundaries to Navajo land, the traditional homeland of the Dene, of my people. Great Sandus National Park, just north of Cisna Jinne, the Sacred White Shell Mountain, also known as Mount Blanca, is a very special place for the Navajo people and many other Native American tribes as well. It is the home of many different plants and animals that our people have been using for many generations. The pinyon pine with the tree sap and the pine nuts, the juniper with the juniper leaves, the juniper berries, the sagebrush, the snakeweed, the mountain mahogany, the aspen trees, and even the black sand, the magnetite that comes from the sand dunes here, as well as the many different animals such as the deer and the elk, the pronghorn, the mountain lions, the bears. All of this are very sacred to us as Navajo people, whether it be used for ceremonies, for herbs and medicinal uses, to our survival of food, all of that here is available at Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve. <laughs>